When you wear it, you respect its terms. Drive it. Envision what others can't even see. Dare to set new standards. Don't let thing in life, not only football, but in life, is to be patient, to be um, strong enough to stay together in a situation like this, or maybe to come closer together as with the team. That's a big, the big chance for everybody in, in, in days like this. This is one big kick for James Milner. He's Mainz was a small club in the second division. Jurgen Klopp was known by a few of the fans, but he wasn't exactly a household name in that sense. But he was tall and he was fast, and people thought he would score goals. He was also a nice guy. Jürgen was, was a striker at the beginning of his career, and he was a striker as well uh, when I arrived. So uh, I was planned in the manager's head as his backup at the beginning, and in my first season, I was his backup. And a few months later, the manager decided that uh, Jürgen should play as a defender, and uh, Jürgen accepted it. And uh, credit to the manager that he has uh, the bravery to try something new with him and credit to Jürgen as well. He, he followed the advice and he took his chance. We spend it more or less every single second apart from our family life uh, together, very tight in the dressing room, uh, as roomies as well. So uh, we always made together the warm up like <laughs> friends. Uh, live their relationship in uh, the professional football environment. Mainz in this time, it was, when was it, 2005. I was already four years manager of the, of the club. The year before we, 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 we promoted to the to first league, so I was kind of whew, famous. It was actually pretty clear that he would leave sooner or later and go to a big club, to a club that needs and expresses a lot of emotions. That's why I think that Borussia Dortmund was the better choice compared to Bayern Munich, for example, because Dortmund, on a fundamental level, was more like what Klopp had experienced here. I left Mainz and I went to Schalke, and uh, this meant immediately that our friendship should continue, but on another level, because we will not be any longer together uh, day in, day out. And this was something what was nice to, to feel, even if I, if I thought this was the right step for me in my personal, professional career. Bird floats into Old Trafford, 15 points ahead of its host. There is a rivalry, of course, and um, and I enjoy those kind of those kind of games where they, they try to boo you and whistle you and you know trying to get you off your game. Off at the back of Origi, no foul given, and James is going the other way. James towards Rashford. There is always pressure, there is always so much pressure at Liverpool and that's something we all know, we all enjoy and it should drive us on to just keep, keep doing even more than we're already doing. Firmino, Lallana! Liverpool embrace salvation and Old 
Trafford. A moment of huge personal uplift for Adam Lallana. And a great collective relief for his club. Perfection has at last been lost. And the winning run is stopped at 17. The champions of Europe against the champions of our land. Truly, this is a gift of a game. Six points between them. Tonight, six could be three, could be nine. This is the day which may define the nature of the race. Here's Fabinho. What a hit! Oh, what a hit! It flashed past Bravo! Robertson. Shaped in towards Mo Salah! Liverpool off to a flyer! The way we played against them, it's not, it's not a way that all the teams in the Premier League want to play against them because they have so much quality. If a lot of teams basically show them respect and drop deep and everything, but we're just trying to press them and trying to make it as difficult as possible for them to play football, and it worked at the game very well. That's oh, delicious cross, Mane! Liverpool are pulling away! Who catches Liverpool now? Right here, right now, it feels like Liverpool's to lose. If I'm looking at our team and, 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 and what we have right now, we have a fantastic squad and, and we can go all the way with this squad. Origi through the middle. Mane looks to find him. Origi's in. Origi scores. You know, Alisson was um, suspended. Mo and uh, Bobby were rested, but it also showed how strong our team was. Sadio Mane, Shakiri too. Everything worked well, and you know, if you can score that many goals in, in a derby, it's a good team. That's a Super Bowl. What a touch! What a finish! What a magnificent goal from Divock Origi. Of course we want to win the league. I think everyone in the Premier League wants to win the league, especially if you have the chance to win the league. So we just look at game by game and uh, we train hard, prepare ourselves good for every game. And at the end of the season we will see how far we come. So it's Watford's turn. Everybody has to play Liverpool twice. They all get a go. And to this point, none have found the answer. Is there a way to stop them? To Corey. So! Hear that! The European champions are behind the Vicarage Road. Decent ball, away from Van Dijk, away from Lovren, it's Mylasa! Watford two to the good, Belief suspended at Vicarage Road. In goes Saar, Alisson is committed, Saar can't get a shot away. Oh my word, Martini does! Uh, yeah, we couldn't find a way through, it was difficult, and we should have done better, but... Um... Yeah, that's the reality. We have to we have to do better. Invincible no more. Liverpool lose for the first time in 422 days. And that is your headline. It's lifted in towards Gareth Bale. Nobody wants in uh, looking look back in 10 or 20 years and say so we were the, the best time we had without winning anything was when Klopp was in. That's not really something you want to achieve. We have still time to do something special and we know that. I try to find solutions for different problems or situations and that's that's what I do and that's how I understand the job.
So um, we have to, we have to do, make how always in life we have to make the best of it. If you have a situation, make the best of it. If somebody want to judge me because of the last three years, and I know what people are saying, and it's the truth. I lost the last six finals, so that it's not something um, really enjoyable. Um, but you can see it from two points. We, 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 yes, we lost them, but in the same time we reached them. So that's not cool. But in most sports. Second place, if you go to Olympic Games, you come over with a silver medal, it's, 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 it's still something. In football, it's nothing. I know it's for nothing for me as well. So I don't get up in the morning and say, oh, I'll reach another final or whatever. It's not like this. I want to win it, and I know that's a responsibility. The only thing I can do to put all I have, knowledge, passion, heart, whatever you want, experience, I, I throw in that club 100%. I, I don't keep anything back. I was sad when I came in, I didn't want to change things immediately. I wanted to understand why English football teams, especially Liverpool, is doing the things the way they did it in the past. And um, so we, we, we changed it step by step, but we brought quality in for sure. And I'm really, that's something I'm really proud of. Salah! This is a fantastic moment to be a Liverpoolian, actually. It's a fantastic, it's a fantastic moment because it's, it's all so positive in a not so positive world. And let's really have the best time of our lives until we win something. And when we win something, then we will keep the, or we'll put it, the, the, the best time of our life on a different level. And then we will, and this city will explore and we're 100% sure in a, in a very positive way. So because waiting that long for something special is quite special. Um, but yeah, the basis was never better than in the moment. It was like a shock that we had to go to lockdown because it, it was like fully concentrated on all the things you have to do. You heard about things, you thought it's a, a, a thing from far away. And then it arrived here pretty quick. And um, three days after we, we played a football game, um, we had to go on lockdown. So that's the first thing. And then you realize and learn more and more and more about the virus, about the crisis and all that stuff and about people who suffer and all these things. So um, that was for sure the first time was really, really intense in that because nobody knew what will 